Welcome to Organic Contaminants in the Subsurface. This is a brief video on the operation of the WebEx system, which we'll use for our tutorials. You'll be able to access this system in a couple of ways. Let's have a look at that. Once we get ourselves organized and have email addresses uh, compiled, we'll be able to send people an invitation to attend the meeting. It'll look like an email, like this. It'll have some information, for instance, here, a meeting number, which is a useful way to access. But from this site, all you have to do is click on the join and you'll be taken to the tutorial. There's another way to access, a more generic way. You could go to the um, Cisco website, www.webex.com. And in the upper right, you can see that you're able to attend a meeting from here. So let's click Attend a Meeting. And we're taken to this page. To get ahead, you have to enter the meeting number, which we'll send you by email as well. For this meeting, I have a number. And I can join the meeting. Now it will also ask me for my name, which we'll display to people. And you can display your picture as well. I'll use my normal email. And I'll call myself Joe. I'm now prepared to enter the meeting as a guest. And you'll be able to attend all these meetings as a guest. WebEx will want to set up your system so that it can accept it. And that will require your approval. I think mine's already set up, so it'll probably just go by the approval stage and right into the meeting. Let me just go back a stage. This is likely what you'll be faced with once you're into the meeting. So there's a drop-down box for audio conference. And we'll certainly use the call using computer. But this is really a good time to check your speaker and just see if it's working. So let's test and see if my speaker is working. Yeah, it's working. You won't have to worry about your microphone because we're not going to allow participants to talk. We found that with a number of lines being open, uh, the feedback is just too bad. So we'll have you communicate in a slightly more ponderous but still effective way. Okay, back to the audio conference. Let's call using the computer, which is how we're set up to do it. So again, it allows you to test your system if you need to. In this area, we'll show the presentation. That'll be the computer or the files from the host presenter. We have a plaque over here called participants. And you can see we indicate the participants. The green and blue ball indicates who has the host privileges. And you'll see all the participants listed. Another useful aspect is the chat page. This is how we'll do our communication. Come back to that in just a moment. The upper left, we have file, which has another way of leaving the meeting. You can see in the lower right of the presentation block, you can leave the meeting by hitting there. You won't be doing any editing. Sharing will be controlled by the host. Number of ways you can view it. Audio, we've already gone through that. Participant. Please don't try and unmute yourself. You're muted upon entry, and we'll keep you muted all the way through. And some meeting information if you need it. By the way, we're going to record these tutorial sessions, and we'll send you an email which will give you the URL to that recording, probably within a day. So the best way to watch is through this sharing system. So you're now seeing the screen that the host is presenting to you. And you have an ability to drop down a return out of that system, back into the system, check your audio, try and unmute yourself. Please don't. If you want to see the participants, that box can be brought up. And again, if you want to see the chat, that's a good one to have. When we're actually running this, there will be a picture, a webcam shot of the presenter here. 
since nobody's down there at the moment and my webcam's up here there's no picture but that'll appear out here so you can get a sense that there is somebody talking to you the chat page is how we'll communicate so you can send a message to everybody or to me the, the host so if I want to send that to Jim Barker I send it and this doesn't appear in everybody's chat page just yours and mine let's send another message let's send that to everybody so if you have a question or a comment about what's been going on or or anything like that during the tutorial this is probably where, where you want to send it to everybody so everybody can see your question what will happen then the host presenter will probably be looking at these as they come in but unlikely to respond to each one immediately they're likely to wait until some useful moment when they can start responding so have some patience but I'm sure people will get back to your uh, question or your comment so that's really how it operates We hope you enjoy the course, hope this is helpful, and uh, good luck.